Welcome back everybody, it's Scrap Mechanic, we're now not in Terrabella, we open a new world, and it's called, it's Italian, No More Lag! It stands for No More Fucking Lag, because my last world I was doing these major infrastructure projects like a 12 story building and hyperloop track and all this fucking shit, and now I'm getting like 5 frames per second, so I'm gonna have to start over, and we're just gonna do some easy stuff and experiment with weight, check this out guys, this is gonna be cool. Alright, so what you see here is a little pillar attached to a pole, a bearing in the middle, and uh, equal length, uh, wooden, you know, stick, three blocks to the left, three blocks to the right, and as soon as we delete this, whatever side is heavier, it'll swing to that side, obviously, so let's uh, delete this controller, and it stays even, right, okay, and let's hook it back up, Oop. make sure this stays taut, and we're going to do something uh, to make sure this, so let's put a one metal block here, and obviously it's going to tip over, when I delete the controller, yep. But you put another metal block here, and let's add the controller, to the center, delete it. It stays even, right? So what we can do is we can actually test the weights, and let's go do that. All right, what I've done here is I've added little uh, uh, platforms so I can stack materials on there, um, because they need to be distributed perfectly. And then we'll check weights, and we can probably assign number units. Uh, with some basic algebra and figure out the exact weights and weights relations and, and units and, and we can make up units and everything so let's let's do that it's gonna be awesome all right for the first test uh, let's see if lightweight equals lightweight let's go in the core you see here the the barrier block which I've been calling construction strap material thingy the barrier block says lightweight so does the wood is lightweight equals lightweight or do they actually have slightly different weights let's find out guys as soon as I delete this uh, controller Nope, stays even. We have exactly equal light weights. That's good. Next. So, you guys, I'm still experimenting with my audio. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, here, what do we have here? We have. Oopsie doopsie. I don't want that. We have three blocks evenly distributed of metal. Uh, categorized as heavyweight by the game. And wood categorized. Uh, we have one, two, three. Oop, let's delete some blocks. One, two, three. Four, five. So let's add another block on top, and that might sort of mess it up. So we get six blocks. So my assumption here is that metal is twice as heavy as wood, and it should stay um, even as I delete this controller. Let's try it. Wow! <laughs> Three blocks of metal are heavier than six blocks of wood. All right, well, let's try something different then. All right, next, I have exactly seven blocks. So one in the middle, one, two, three to each side. Let's do this again. Seven blocks versus wood versus three blocks of metal. And still, let's do it. And we're back. This time, ten blocks of wood, three blocks of metal. What happens? Holy fucking bananas, dude. Let's do it again. All right, guys, we're here back at the scale. So is metal four times heavier than wood there is 12 blocks of wood and still only three blocks of metal let's try this oh my god well it's sort of evening out um hmm we're getting close now 14 blocks of wood three blocks of metal that's like even steven bro i'm gonna take that Wow, so what's 14 divided by 3? Uh, let's, let me do some math here. It's going to be decimal. That's hard. I, I, I never even finished school, guys. Come on. All right, guys. Uh, so one of these metal blocks, or let's call them steel blocks, is 4.66 times as heavy as wood block. So if you, you know, like let's put a little, uh, let's call them Fritz. Let's put Fritz right here next to these blocks. Let's say one of these wooden blocks would weigh 10 pounds that means one of these steel blocks would weigh 46 pounds so it's a lot you know I guess that's realistic sort of but it's a lot uh, more of a gap than I expected so let's go and test the medium uh, weights and I stacked them up so I have two rows of wood and one full row of concrete and I'm assuming that the concrete is twice as heavy so it'll stay level oh, let's delete the controller and for once, I made the right assumption. Isn't that great? So, you know, if you have a block of wood, a block of concrete, or medium weight material will be twice as heavy. All right, before we move on, let's just make sure that all the medium weight materials are actually the same weight. Oh, 
Wow, that's surprising. Holy shit. This is getting more complicated than I anticipated. Look at this brick block. It's supposed to be medium weight and concrete medium weight. But it's not actually the same weight. Hmm. Alright, let's do some more testing. Alright, before we find out the weight of uh, our brick, let's make let's see if, if it weighs the same as that white brick right there. And it's still heavier, okay. Well let's place it with Concrete and Alright, at least our what is this stuff called? Our tile block is the same weight as concrete, which is so let's call our, our wood one SM unit, one scrap mechanic unit. What we've learned is metal is 4.66 SMs, concrete is 2 SMs, and because tile block was the same as concrete, it's also 2 SMs. So now the only uh, unit that's a mystery is a brick, brick block, so we're going to crack that right now. Okay, here we are. Two rows of concrete, one row of brick. So that would, you know, I guess give us a 4 SM units if, if it stayed level for brick. And we're close. It's actually heavier. It's, I mean, it's close to metal at this point, and uh, that doesn't make any sense because it should be classified as heavy, right? Okay, last attempt. I added three more blocks of concrete, so we have two full rows, which is 14 blocks plus three. 17 blocks of concrete versus seven blocks of brick. Let's see what happens when we delete the controller. And even Steven, let me go do some math. What is 17 divided by 7? Hi right, guys, the numbers are in. Um, 17 divided by 7 is 2.43. But we're not dealing with the most basic unit of wood. We're dealing with concrete. And we know concrete to be um, heavier. To be as heavy as 2 wood blocks. So this actually, we have to double this. And this gives us 4.86. Which makes it heavier than, than metal. So let's make sure this checks out. Let's make sure I'm not just um, on crack here. And here we are, moment of truth. So, is the brick that's categorized as medium weight heavier than the metal block that's categorized as heavyweight? Nope, it is the same. So I guess, you know, because earlier I, when we did the uh, metal versus wood test, it wasn't like perfectly level. So, 4.83, 4.86, it's probably a better number, but that tells us that <laughs> medium and heavyweight is the same in the game. So a brick block is equal to a to a metal block. Wow, fuck it, let's do one more. I don't want to leave you guys alone yet. That's uh, we got three switches, one block of wood. And what happens? And ooh, so this is showing you that the switches are a little heavier than a third of a wooden block. So like, I don't know, 0.35 SMs. And uh, yeah, you know, this uh. This should help. I'm, I'm not going to go through every item in the inventory, like wheels and, and, you know, sensors. And I know bearings are weightless. I've seen, uh, this is, by the way, this is uh, Blitzkriegster's idea. And I've just taken it to the next level and assigned units. So, yeah, guys. So why have I made that video that, um, you know, I, I guess assigns units to, to our different blocks? Uh, I think, you know, we're still in the dark here when we're building stuff. We have to count blocks to get sort of guess what the center of mass is and if you're using different materials I think it helps to know how much more one block weighs over the other and I'm really really hoping that the developers will add a center of mass icon if you've ever played Kerbal Space Program um, that's really useful also center of thrust would be nice um, so yeah I, I, I'm building this little uh, this bipedal walker that's supposed to walk and fly and I thought I should probably know how much the different materials weigh but then in the end I ended up using mostly just uh, the lightest materials and uh, I guess I'll show you guys one more thing I mean most people probably already know this but these are two bearings one is turning 180 degrees and 360 degrees and they're both on the same speed so I want to see if they basically both end up doing their respective turns at um, the same time and I know they kind of get caught but it still shows you that uh, if they're hooked up to the same um, the same controller and they're, they're different angles they're actually going at different speeds even though you have the speed set up the same so I think when you're doing s something uh, bipedal you really have to keep that in mind and if you want you know if, if you have one controller hooked up to different like if it's doing the same angles but which wouldn't really happen most of the time just something to keep in mind 
uh, yeah, I'll, I hope this helps, uh, you know, knowing the different weights, uh, having you build your items and kind of having that in the back of your mind how heavy stuff is. And that's all I got. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.